Hi guys and welcome back to I Sew with Joy. Today I'm going to be doing something I have not done in the past and frankly I am excited and a little nervous. So what am I talking about? I am actually going to be making a kimono jacket. Um, if you've seen them in the past, they're really absolutely beautiful. I found this pattern on Etsy and I actually had it in my shopping cart for a while. I didn't um, purchase it and then finally last weekend I was like, you know what? the heck I'm gonna purchase it and make the jacket myself so I do have this African print fabric that I have a lot of I actually bought a lot of this um, during when the pandemic first hit because I wasn't sure if I was going to have them when needed and it turns out I haven't actually sold as many of this so I figured hey instead of using it for a bonnet I'm just gonna turn it into a kimono jacket for myself and since the summer is coming I typically like something that's a cover-up so um, I figured this would be like a little thing I can wear when I go out to, you know with a spaghetti strap outfit or a sleeveless top or tube top anything like it's just a great thing to have um, to wear out so um, I should mention I got this pattern off of Thimble T-H-I-M-B-A-L they're awesome I had problems downloading the pattern and they actually sent me an email with the the downloads the attachments I needed to download and instructions of how to put it together. So I'm, while I'm not going to be sewing it today, I'm going to start the process of putting everything together and I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So come along with me. All right, here you have it. I didn't realize how big it would be on my floor and obviously I printed it on an eight and a half by 11 um, sheet of paper. But this is basically what the instructions say. The first thing was to print out this first sheet of paper and measure to make sure I have um, a four by four inch square, which I did. And then after that, I went ahead and lined it up. It's just basically all the A's, all the B's, all the C, uh, C's, and all the D's at the bottom. So once that's done, I'm gonna start cutting. Obviously, I don't have pattern paper, so this is what I'm working with. I'm gonna start cutting it. And the great thing about this pattern is that you can actually select the size you want and it will um, and deselect all the other sizes and it will print in just that size, which is awesome. I haven't done that in the past or I haven't noticed that in other uh, purchases in the past. So this is really cool. So I am going to be doing this and I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to seeing how this whole thing turns out. Now, if it's a complete disaster, don't worry, I'll do a live and share it with you. But for now, I'm really excited about this. I'm thinking uh, because I have my day job and my business to run and I'm a mom and a wife, it's probably going to take me a little bit to get through all of it. Um, I'm still undecided on whether or not I want to add lining. So that'll probably be added if I have time or not. But either ways, that's what I have coming up. So stick around, hit that plus button or that plus button so you get notified when I post on this. Have a wonderful day. Hi guys, so here I am trying to put this pattern together. I don't have a big enough table to hold everything, so I am basically just going to cut and assemble on the floor of my office. At first I thought I'd do this with a pair of scissors, and as you can see, it was really slow going. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I have one of those Cricut cutter thingies that I use for vinyl. So I pulled it out and decided to use it. Yeah, that was me tiptoeing around so I wouldn't fall. Um, anyways, I tried it on a few sheets of paper and I saw that it worked out great. So I figured, hey, this is what I'm gonna use. Um, basically, I was able to do this with at least five sheets of paper at a time, which made it much faster. It still took some time, but I was able to get a lot more done faster. Um, the instructions said to just put these little um, triangles, not triangles, yes, triangles in the middle, the green triangles together. So that's the first step. And since it's in three or four different rows, row A, B, C, and D, I basically had to first put row A together uh, along the triangles to create a square and then do the same thing for row B, C, and D and then assemble them all together. So as you can see that's basically all I'm doing right here just putting it all together and taping it. Um, it'll make more sense when we get to the end of the video. So here we are I have put rows A, B, and C together well I'm trying to finish up row C there and I am going to um, assemble it and put row D together shortly. So the triangles make squares for on each of them so basically you're just trying to match everything which is really easy I think this is like one of the easiest um, instructions I've worked with um, so that's all together and I'm just gonna add the last row there and put it all there together this is what everything looks like tomorrow I'm going to 
Hi guys, so for those wondering, I am following this kimono jacket step by step. So I am currently on step number four. I'm going to be cutting out the fabric, um, the uh, pattern pieces today. And then tomorrow I'm going to cut out the fabric pieces. So this is what it all looks like. Um, and you'll see it in the upcoming video. So this part did take a bit of time. I would say approximately 15 minutes to cut it, uh, minutes to cut it all out. Um, I figured you don't want to see the entire cutting video, but I, um, when I put the tape on there, I put it on there knowing that I wouldn't be, um, the pieces wouldn't all be fully together. So I had to be very careful there as I cut each piece uh, apart. I can go tape it up later on because then I would at, le at least have the right pattern to go with, um, the full pattern that is to go with. I also want to mention that when I do things like this, I always make sure it's on a piece of paper or pieces of paper that I've already used one side of so I'm not wasting. So all the sheets you see here have actually been used uh, prior. I'll show you a sheet shortly where you see I've printed on both sides, so no waste. Um, so here's what it all looks like with everything cut up and I'm going to do the uh, fabric cutting okay, tomorrow. So I am in my office. I just finished cutting out the pattern pieces and um, I'm excited about doing the fabric pieces tomorrow. I'm taking it step by step because I basically only have after work to get this done. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get the fabric pieces together tomorrow and should complete this by Saturday if all works out. Uh, I'm going to start putting it together on Thursday. I was thinking about doing a live, but I am not entirely sure if I'll be able to get that done this weekend. So I figured I'll just keep posting um, daily with my progress. So if you haven't already done so, click that plus button so you get notified when I post the next video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for stopping by. Hi guys, good evening. So today I am cutting out the fabric pieces. Um, so as you can see here, we're in step five, seam allowances, hem allowances are already included and then follow the instructions. And once you get here, um, it allows me to label each one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the fabric pieces and then I'm going to label them and, um, like so, and you see that in the next video. Okay, so here I'm just using my yardstick to measure out a yard. Um, actually, it calls for two and a half yards. I did cut this a little longer just to give myself a little bit of an allowance if there was an issue. Um, you know the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Um, I wanted to make sure that if for some reason I did not have the paper on there properly or the pattern on there properly, I would not be penalized. I would have enough to work with. So, oh, bless you. <laughs> so basically, that's all I'm doing here. I'm cutting the piece I'm going to need. So it's a little over two and a half um, yards of this beautiful fabric. It, by the way, if you're interested in purchasing this, you can find it on my website at isowithjoy.com. Um, so, yes, and um, I'm also going to mention that I am not going to be including a lining for this jacket. I feel like because I want to use it in the summer, it needs to be lightweight anyway. So here's the pattern fully assembled. Um, there it's just telling me to cut on the fold line. So when that when it does that, you want to make sure that you fold your fabric and place the fold line um, note right where you fold the fabric. So that's all I'm doing here. And I'm just trying to make sure everything is all together um, as I fold and cut. Um, next, you're going to see me use some pattern weights. Yes, these are just washers you can find at a Home Depot or Lowe's. I find them very easy to use. I know that I can create my own pattern weights and just, you know, sew them and put in some pellets in them. Um, I, mm -hmm. These were, I think they were like a dollar uh, and change per at um, Lowe's. So it's just easier for me to use. Now the pattern says to cut uh, to follow the grain line. So whenever it does that, you want to make sure that you're looking at the grain of your fabric. So I was just showing you there what that looked like. And this is it. I'm finishing up the cut and you will see. This is all I have. And I have um, put in, used sticky notes to indicate what. Hey guys, so all the pieces have been assembled and now it's time to start um, actually hemming them together. So tomorrow, that's what I'm going to be focused on. I want to mention that I will not be adding pockets to this jacket, even though the pattern calls for it. Um, that's just a slight modification. I'm not really big on outside, you know, out of pockets. I feel like it's too bulky. So if you've been following thus far, 
please be sure to hit that plus button so you can get notified of my next update. Have a wonderful day. Hi guys and welcome back to I Sew with Joy. So today I am going to be going back to the kimono jacket I mentioned a few weeks ago. I know I just have not had a chance to do it. But today I actually will begin the process of assembling the pieces. Um, believe it or not, I have actually not made any progress with this. So this is all really just starting the sewing part. As you know, I did cut up all the pieces. This is everything just folded up. And today I will be working on the shoulder piece. So attaching the shoulder piece and the arms to it. So come along. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, you will need some pins just clearing the area there so I can put everything out there. Um, and the pieces you'll see first, these are the pockets, which I'm not going to be sewing. These pieces here are going to be um, the arms, the sleeves rather, and this is the front piece. And then mm -hmm. we have the biggest piece, which is the back of it. Um, and then there's an air, uh, the other pieces that will be used for mm -hmm. the show uh, for the colors anyways um so i'm gonna assemble this by basically just matching it make sure you're matching the right side of the print uh, so right sides facing each other so right now we're looking at the wrong side of the print i know it's a little hard to see on this video but that's what i'm doing mm -hmm. and i am just pinning the top part there um for the shoulders and i'm gonna go ahead and sew that <laughs> sew it all down sew it down both sides and this is what it looks like once it's assembled mm -hmm. And next up, doing the sleeves. So just fold the sleeve piece. The um, the not so wide part or the narrowest part will be um, hemmed to the front panels that I just uh, attached and the back panel. So um, hopefully it makes sense from what you can see in the video. Uh, it's, it basically forms a straight line if you put it all, you know, if you flip it all flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing that for both sides. And this is what it all looks like. Um, so yeah, we're just about done here. I'm trying to make sure that everything looks accurate and tomorrow I'm going to sew the sleeves and ham the sides and get that done. We're almost there. Just trying it out on the mannequin. I know I should have used the mannequin earlier, but hey, it's going to be for me. I might as well try it on, right? <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. So I've put everything pretty much together and tomorrow it should just be doing the color piece and then just sewing, all, sewing it all together and then it should all be done and I can finally enjoy my kimono jacket. It only took three weeks, but the honest truth is if I had done this all from start to finish, it probably would have taken no more than 20 to 30 minutes. So I guess it was just more a matter of finding the time to get it done. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you think. Hit that plus button so you can get notified whenever I post a video. Have a wonderful day. Hi guys and welcome back to I Sew with Joy. So I just realized I forgot to mention something yesterday. The pattern I have been working with does require the use of a serger or zigzag stitch. So in the videos I've shared with you, all the stitches you see are just simple straight stitches, which is great. It does bring the uh, garment together. However, you will need to be able to do a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger. I, for one, don't have a serger, and I just wanted to show you what my, zigzag, uh, what my zigzag stitches look like. So this is it, and you can barely tell. I don't know if it, it, um, if that's visible there. Let me try to, um, yeah. So you can barely tell. I'm going to go with an area like this where it shows a little bit more, and I will refocus the camera. But um, that is needed to keep the seams together. Now, um this fabric is pretty good. It doesn't fray as bad. And all their alternative I wanted to mention is if you don't plan on doing this, you might want to give it a little bit of a seam allowance. What is a seam allowance? It's just basically the amount you have to account for when you're putting in a stitch. So in other words, it deducts from the size or the low, you know, the size. Yeah, it deducts from the size of the fabric you're putting together. So, uh, you know, it, it's you measure the seam allowance from the edge of the seam to where I mean, from the edge of the fabric to where you actually start your seam. And if you need classes on that, please let me know. Put that in the comment section. I'll be sure to do one of those. Um, but yes, so I have actually done the zigzag stitches around in my machine. It is um, 14. So it, uh, and I have a, a brother SD 600. It is uh, pattern. I mean, I'm sorry, not pattern. The zigzag stitch number 14. And it is the width of five and the length of 1.0 millimeter. Uh, well, anyway, I'm, um, and the reason I'm doing that, why I changed that to 1.0 is because I wanted it as narrow as possible to give me the, you know, the, 
the look alike or the look and feel of a of a serger um, stitch. So just wanted to mention that today. I thought I would have this all together today, but it turns out there are a few other things I did not um, necessarily account for. So I wanted to at least mention that to you today. I will sew down the arms, uh, the sleeves of the kimono jacket, and then I'll um, I'll go back and do my zigzag stitch, and that's all you'll have today. And then tomorrow I will attach the collar and get that too. So just stay tuned and come along. Let's go get that started. Hi guys, welcome back to I Sew with Joy. So today I am actually going to be finishing up this kimono jacket right here. I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see the progress I've made. Now yesterday I finished hemming everything, um, the collar and everything at the bottom. So now all I'm going to do is do the sleeves. I originally wanted to do a three quarter sleeve, but it turns out it doesn't look so great on me. So today I am actually just going to fold it a couple of times and just do a straight hem stitch and that's all. So this kimono jacket is just about done. I'll show you the back here. Um, I think the most difficult part about this actually was lining the middle of the neck um, portion, the collar. That was a little bit of a challenge for me as well as pinning it. I actually ended up doing it twice. And um, also I ended up needing my seam ripper because I stitched it incorrectly. Overall though, we're just about done. So stay tuned and come along with me. All right, so this part I actually recorded yesterday, I am just putting together the final pieces for the collar. So there I just, um, I needed to put them wrong sides together and just pin it together and then uh, stitch it with a straight stitch. There you have it right there, stitching it. And then I know I typically don't iron my fabric just because uh, I just don't enjoy it. So, but this time I really needed to iron it because it does have a part that needed to be um, folded in to allow for the attachments to the jacket um, piece itself. So I just did a half an inch, it's a half an inch on each side, so that equates to a full inch um, being taken away from the piece there, and there you have it, you see me pinning it. I repeated this process twice. I messed it up and it was just a little bit of a pain to do it, but hey, it got <laughs> done um, and I was very happy. I actually ended up having to bring the mannequin to my computer to follow the picture exactly. So I would say this was the most challenging part here, just trying to figure out how to pin it together. So as you can see, I got it finally got it through and then hemmed it to find out that I had made a mistake on the side I hemmed it so I ended up having to use my good old seam ripper to do that part and then go back and redo it so that's what you're seeing here now I am just doing so the sleeves. this is the finished kimono jacket I am absolutely in love with it um the sleeves I decided to keep it as is it's not too long, not too short. I think it's just right considering it's summer. So it's a lightweight fabric, which works out just great. I'll show you the back. Yeah, I love this pattern. So if you haven't done so already, first hit that plus button so you can get notified the next time I post a video. And also you want to check out the patterns from Thimble. So it's T-H-I-M-B-A-L-L. -L. I mean, I love this pattern because it walked me through every single step and was very easy. Alrighty, and also guys, celebrating my 11th anniversary today. So I got this lovely shirt that says annoying each other for 11 years and still going strong. So shout out to my hubby. Alright, have a wonderful day and thanks for stopping by.